All right, let's go. Ayo, we're three hot guys sharing our opinions because we're special and different. Gold medals, we're winning. Can't help it if we're burdened by our intellect. You can play checkers while we pretend we know the rules to chess. The council has spoken, and we are the chosen. Your nose is broken because I broke it. Ouch, this sucks. And welcome back to another episode of Will of the Count Cell. I'm your host, Joseph. As always, we have Jordan in the booth. That's me. We've got Danny in my lap. No, you do not. <laughs> and we've got Becky on the ones and twos. How was everyone's week? Well, it's halfway over, you know. We, we always record this on hump day. Yeah, I was going to say, say it's hump, hump day. day. But it's been good. It's been good. Uh, I've been I've been uh, doing a lot of recording this week and a lot of streaming. So my my throat is uh, properly scratched the fuck up. So um, yeah, welcome to hell, kid. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, We're no, getting there. I will say one thing that uh, people who do like broadcasting type things for a living, I am always shocked when I hear someone do- doesn't do these. Is really consider warming up your voice before anything you do, especially like sustained talking for like four hours. I was talking to some of my colleagues who make Yu-Gi-Oh videos for a living and they were like, oh, I'll just go live dry. And then they'll be like, why is my voice all screwed up? It's like, yeah, dude, you're, you're talking for like eight hours straight. Like, what do you expect? As an ex theater kid, um, I used to actually choir band, all that stuff. I used to do vocal warmups all the time and just not doing that anymore. You know, I, I sort of have lost the understanding of how important that is so i'm getting back to it so i'm gonna do the ayo you know, all it. that stuff yeah yeah the good stuff me he wa, ha, me it's kind of screwed up that we're all theater kids you wouldn't expect that because we are all so normal oh true yeah uh, no that's true spe- speaking of normalcy i think we would be remiss if we didn't talk a little bit about the capital t controversy this week uh i'm speaking about the fact that i am hashtag still with her And by her, I mean Margot Robbie, who was snubbed, did not get an Oscar for being the best Barbie she could be. Personally, does the Academy hate women? I think so. Uh, I think I would say probably so. Can I do the the honors of reading a post post that will go down in history? Um, Yeah, go for it. At Hillary Clinton. Thanks for writing into the podcast. Greta and uh, Margot, while it can sting to win the box office but not take home the gold, your millions of fans love you. You're both so much more than Kenuff. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. And this November, it's time to Margot to, to the, the polls. polls. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately I think probably nothing better expresses the state of decline of America than uh prior presidential candidate Hillary Clinton congratulating a woman on not being nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> uh I saw a bunch of people being like this is disgusting how could she not get it? It's like I don't know man, did you watch the other movies? <laughs> They're really good. Yeah. It was a really uh, tough <laughs> year like a lot of fantastic I'm movies. Sorry, came out. yeah. It was uh it was really funny watching people be like, hmm, guess a woman can't win an Oscar anymore for the best female actress category. Uh and obviously everyone said it a million times, so I won't belabor the point, but it is very funny. I think we have the first indigenous woman ever to be nominated for best yeah. actress. And it's like, oh well, you know, she wasn't in Barbie. <laughs> <Can't fuck. laughs> yeah, yeah. I do want to go on record. Barbie, fun Barbie's movie. Great. I liked it a lot. A fantastic movie. I loved it. All right. Well, I did not see it, so I am the misogynist That's i did true. not see barbie i'm you sorry should apologize but, to I, mean, I, I think we have to be i should yeah i think we have to be a little realistic about oscars right it's like uh comedies with will ferrell in them don't usually win very many oscars <laughs> like uh you know the talladega nights was not up for best picture uh and uh, that's fine. You, know? <laughs> you got to concede uh, something. Although I think it did, it did get nominated for like eight yeah, Oscars. Yeah, it's got right? a lot Didn't of nominations like... regardless. The movie's really good. Talladega Nights. Did... Oh no, you mean Barbie did. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah Talladega Nights is actually the winningest movie in history. It was um what Will Ferrell won Best Actor. Oh, what's his name? Won Best Supporting. Um. Oh God, who's his little friend in Talladega Nights? 
Uh, You're lying. There's no way this is real. <laughs> no, it's real. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. John C. Riley. Uh, I think actually it won um, best uh, screenplay from the moment when they're all at the dinner table and John C. Riley says, I like to picture Jesus as like a muscular trapeze artist. That stuck with me to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so You're so annoying. stupid. <laughs> so stupid. I think. I think I do appreciate, though, that this is the Oscar drama, so I don't have to suffer through six months of people going, why doesn't the Academy take animation seriously and nominate Into the Spider-Verse for Best Picture? Because you know that would have been the drama otherwise. That's yeah. true. It probably would have been the drama. I did like that movie. Uh, I, I, you know, it's whatever. great. It'll win Best oh, Picture. So I, I haven't seen anything else. Yeah. It was a good oh, movie. Man. God, man. I remember when we went to see that um together into the the theme which is a great time by the way when we all went to see that movie oh, yeah, together, we all had our jaws just like both. dropped oh it was so oh, it was good. so much fun yes oh yeah <sighs> oh. i it's crazy that we're not gonna get the sequel ever <laughs> <laughs> please man i really do Come hope on. they take their time on it. i do i do like, too just, i did just take their time i love when they were like uh they were like it's coming out in 2024 and then um uh, all of the actors were like, yeah, we haven't read our lines yet. Like, no, it's not. Like, yeah. <laughs> you are Great. Good. good. I'm glad. Take <sighs> your time, please. Yes. Uh, but while the movies may be an endless source of drama, sometimes life can feel like a movie. And for one individual, the first of our three uh, arguments we'll be looking at today, their life was a little bit like a horror movie. Um, are you prepared for me to read you this first one? I know you two are really excited to talk Home about run, it. Home run, Joe. Yeah. Nice transition. <laughs> <sighs> I, I'm so excited. The, All right. the, I, 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 I can't pumped. stop. The, these are so good. This comes from r slash relationships. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even do it. This comes from r slash relationships. My boyfriend, 21M, keeps three bottles down the side of his bed to pee in how should i respond oh that that's a thinker keep on going <laughs> uh i i mean uh i have some responses yeah. immediately yeah. i probably can't say <laughs> i've got some let's let's get into in this head. i can't i can't I, i'm already like crying <laughs> all right i'm a 20 year old woman I've been with my boyfriend for just over a year. We're both at university. A week ago, I was at his house staying the night with him, which I do a lot. I'm usually a really heavy sleeper, which when he can sometimes struggle. But suddenly, I woke up, and I thought I could hear water running. It took me a few seconds to get my bearings together, and I turned to see my boyfriend facing away from me. I perched myself up a bit, and I could see he was urinating in a plastic bottle. I freaked out a bit at first. I was startled. I blurted out, what on earth are you doing? I wish I reacted more calmly, but I was shocked. Oh, well, rookie mistake. When you catch someone pissing <laughs> two inches from you, you're supposed to react, you know, in a calm, meaningful right, manner. Right. <laughs> Darling, why is your pee-pee out? And why are you blasting the bottom of this Gatorade bottle? <laughs> I was going to say Gatorade bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh guys think it's Gatorade, God. right? It's got to be. It's got to be, Gatorade be a Gatorade bottle. Okay. But let's let's keep going. At first, he tried to shrug it off like it was nothing, saying the bathroom was occupied with one of his housemates and he was desperate. Okay, this is first off. This is a this good is cover a good story. Lie. It's a yeah, good yeah, lie. Yeah. <laughs> this is. Let me tell. More than anything else, this is a clearly rehearsed oh. lie. All right, let's uh, let's, Ooh, let's that's, keep going. That's a deep theory. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure, but then I looked underneath his bed and I saw two other bottles filled with pee i challenged him again and then he admitted he'd been doing it for years keeping bottles underneath ah. the bed down one of the sides that he pees in after he started to try and sleep he does it because he finds it really difficult to get out of bed just to go to the bathroom when he's trying to sleep or wakes up needing a pee he ends up just staring in a space for hours and not sleeping because he can't bring himself to get out of the bed to go to the bathroom he said he cleans the bottles out every morning when no one else is there <laughs> for me this was super gross, and I couldn't believe he thought it was acceptable. Like, everybody hates getting out of bed to go to the bathroom, but they don't end up peeing in bottles, right? Him doing that is bad enough, but him doing it while I'm in bed next to him? I found so disgusting. 
The thing is that other than this, he is a super clean, well-kept man who always makes sure to look after himself. It's one of the many things that drew me to him. He's lovely as well, and I love him. This has come completely out of nowhere, and I have no idea how to react. What do I do? TLDR, I caught my boyfriend of over a year urinating into a plastic bottle while I was in bed with him. He has admitted he has been doing it for years because he can't get himself out of bed when he is trying to sleep. I find this super gross. I don't know how to react. There is an update that I'm going to read because I think it is important enough that it's not worth a but wait. So when I say he has sleeping issues, I mean he has full-on insomnia. When he has to get out of bed for any reason, it makes it almost impossible for him to get any sleep at all after that. Jordan, you want to go first? Oh my god, I love it. It's so it, It's good. awesome. I'm, like I'm crying over here. It's like phenomenal. Okay. Okay. Le okay. <laughs> <laughs> 21 is still a relatively young age, right? 21 years old. Yes, you're an adult, but, you know, you're in college. It's still relatively young, okay? So I am curious to understand this gentleman's relationship history because th if this is, like, the first relationship where he's, you know, like, a serious relationship where he's actually kind of, like, pseudo-living with a partner, right? They don't actually live together, but they spend a lot of nights together. Maybe he just doesn't understand that, like, you know, this is a... <laughs> I don't know how to you're how try, you, You're trying, bro. Keep it up. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> but, okay, maybe he doesn't get that this is, like, a thing you should not do with your partner in, like, in the same bed. Like, they're trying to sleep, and you're just pissing in a bottle. Like, I'm... I can't. I can't. There's no way. I can't turn it around. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Before we get into what what we think about this, I have a question. Sure. Is, is yeah. this guy – how is this guy doing this? Is he Is he getting out of the bed to stand up and pee in the <laughs> bottle, or is he – This guy's never pissed in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, color me normal. Uh, like, <laughs> so he's in the bed, right? I'm assuming, pissing in yeah, the he, bottle. He is not getting out oh of the my bed. God. <laughs> he is pissing off the side of the no bed into way. a bottle. I imagine he is holding. Oh, no, that's so nasty. Right, here, 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 I I actually do have I have the specifics oh. of how he does it from the comments. Uh, he reaches under the bed with his arm, opens a bottle and pees in it while on his side. He doesn't get up at all. No, look, I'm sorry. Oh, no. My like, God. no. Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. I guess I guess I've got to be the defender of all uh -oh. men. Once again, the, the gynocracy has come to <laughs> roost on the council. When were you all replaced? When did you all get infected with the woke mind virus? God forbid a man wants to piss in a bottle off the side of his bed. Can't men do anything anymore? <laughs> oh, no, you don't get to do that for this. bottles! <laughs> I'm going to try and I'm going to try and justify Fine. this a little bit. Um, Fine. You know, my my partner has sleeping issues as well. Okay. And okay. Um, I believe that if you go to bed with a full bladder and you have to wake up in the middle of the month at night, sometimes... It is just impossible to go back to sleep or you have to pee so bad it prevents you from going to bed. But going to sleep is such a a hard thing to get started that you don't want to get out of bed and functionally reset the progress you've made on relaxing in order to pee. I understand that perspective. Um, that said, if you have sleeping issues and you're aware that this can happen to you, you probably already take precautions like you don't try to go to bed on a full bladder, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. That's like number I, one. I, like, yes. Don't. I I guess I understand. Maybe he has to pee a lot, right? And like, you know, maybe he has to get up because uh, eight hours, no matter what you go to bed, even if you're parched, you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night to have to go to the bathroom. But the thing that's throwing me off here is the two additional bottles. Correct. Oh yeah. Because you can't accidentally fill up three bottles of piss there's he is either lying about cleaning them out in the morning which i think is probably the case or the man is pissing a quart a night 
At which point, you are doing something. This has got to be the wettest boy alive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. And, like, if you can tell that it's pee in the bottles, that means the guy is not super hydrated. Because you could just lie. You could be like, oh, you know, it's like mostly water you know it's and that's what i would expect if you were pissing that much but like if you're pissing that amount every night clearly piss like go get your kidneys checked oh my god this is like this disgusting no this is so gross i'm like okay i understand i think there's a of somebody i think there's a lot of checks you can write this guy like maybe the insomnia is really bad and it sucks to have to get up maybe he doesn't have a lot of relationship experience and he doesn't know that this is super fucking gross um i don't think any of those checks are gonna clear no no i think you're gonna take those to your bank and they're going to bounce, and then you'll get piss in your face. Yeah. They'll whip it out and start blasting. There are things you – the thing is, like, there are precautions you can take to prevent this issue rather than jumping right to the, well, I guess I'll just piss in my bed. Like, bro, I, I'm sorry. You are now living with a, a partner <laughs> who is expecting a certain level of cleanliness. Like – a certain lack of piss in their bed. Yeah, exactly. Over time in a relationship, there are some, like, you know, goblin behaviors that you two can adopt together. Like, a common one is pissing with the door open, right? Like, that's just a thing over time in relationships that you get comfortable with one another. Ah, fuck it. I'm just going to go piss with the door open, right? Like, couples sure. just do that, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's like, I get that. But there are boundaries. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to piss in a bottle next to my wife in our bed. Like, that's just not... There's, there's, there's no way. Like, that is not the option you jump to. You, you do. Okay, maybe I stop drinking water at 8 p.m. or something like that. Like, please yeah, because like, do not jump to the piss bottle. The way this guy has framed it, it almost sounds like a medical condition, right? Like, uh, you for you, sure, for sure. No, the insomnia is right. So yeah. that sounds like the medical condition, but it's like the piss is the part of the biggest problem like the piss sounds like its own medical condition and like that the like moving is so detrimental that i feel like it's it's hard like you'll wake up from trying to piss on your side more you've oh hold up hold up maybe you've never done the thing where you wake up in the morning and it's like let's say 5 30 a.m you know you're gonna have to get up in like an hour but you have to piss really bad. And you're like, Ugh, do I just get up and piss and then go back to sleep for an hour? Do I try to hold it and then wake up at 630 and you end up just staring at the ceiling for like 40 minutes? I've never You've done, never this. done no. this. I've never done no, this. No, I've never done this. No, this is a universal human I, I, experience. I've I'm never sorry. done this. Uh, this guy's just extending it to his entire night. I've, I've never done this. If I wake up and I need to go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. I go to the fucking bathroom. And then yeah. like a person. I, I'm sorry. For many people, that's it. Really? You, that's, that's it. I don't know. I Yeah, like they're I, up I'm, now. I must be lucky because I go to the bathroom and I, maybe I wake up a bit, but I go back to bed and I close my eyes and I go back to sleep. Am I not normal? Jordan, help. No, you are you are normal, but this guy isn't. He has insomnia, <laughs> okay, okay, well, right? I guess that's so true. So, I think I think the the way to resolve this is you go to a sleep doctor, you get prescribed something like trazodone or something. Uh, and then you go to a second doctor and say, Doc, I'm pissing out of my pee pee penis uh, <laughs> 55 times a day. And then you get an additional thing along with, you know, you get your kidneys checked to see if they're still okay. there. Yeah. Okay, okay, um, okay, but and then the, but the, well, you tell your you tell your significant other, look what I did. What if this guy's got a poo? Well, clearly he doesn't. And if he is, he he's hiding poops. it better. It's his body, his food is digested down to piss. All of it. He doesn't need to poo. He doesn't even have yeah, a butthole. Maybe no. he has like the greatest kidneys yeah, of all no time. They're just flexing. It's just pee now. His body is adapted to only pee. <laughs> he doesn't have kidneys. He has shit knees. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god. god. The, this one, man. I really, I really want to be on this guy's side, but uh, ugh, no, man. I'm sorry. If, you can't. I tried to play devil's advocate for myself, and I was like, no. There's no, there's no redemption for this. I can't. I can't. It's just so All right. So okay. Gross. Okay. Voting time. Decision time. Jordan, 
poster is not the asshole. The guy needs to go to the fucking bathroom. Uh, Danny. The poster is not the asshole. Dude, go to the doctor. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I... I really want to be on the the PP man side the about this, but no, there's just no way. No, you need the to PP get help. The PP man coming this uh, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Summer blockbuster. Okay. The council has spoken. This summer, this summer let me PP man. The PP man. Let's bookend this one with what is your like weirdest PP habit? Weirdest. Um, I always sit when I pee. Really? You always sit. I always sit. You're, you're I, one I, of the Tim and Eric. I sit down when I pee. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because it's just like, I just, I don't know, man. Like standing up and spraying piss everywhere. I guess it's like, no, I, I get it. Know, I don't know. I always, sit I've always, I've always ideologically agreed with uh, sit pissers, sense. like vegans. I'm just like not one of them. Yeah. You know? No, I, I agree. Uh, Danny, where are you? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm pretty normal about pissing. I don't really have anything. <laughs> I stand and piss, like, and then I'm done. Oh, this guy's just normal about pissing. I, I, uh, I'm trying to think of something, but what you got anything for us? What's what's Here, your? I'll, I'll, yeah, I can give you some time. You remember when you and I lived together, not in the apartment? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I do, I do. We lived together in a house yeah. for a little while, and the house had one functioning oh, bathroom God. for yeah. the most part. And so, if anyone was in there, I would walk outside the door and piss in the yard, like you know, like no a dog. No way. Yep, I did this probably a hundred times. Oh my god! Pissing outside is great, though. I will say it's, it's wonderful. Great. I love. I mean, it is. I. I honestly sometimes I would plan my pisses around when other people were in the shower, so I could be like, "Oh, well, I guess I have no other option." <laughs> One of life's great pleasures. Wife and I go camping a lot. Well, do we do a big family camping trip every year? And oh my god, out in like we're on like a lake side campsite, and just like the lake breeze. When you're pissing, oh my god, it's so. My uh, oh, my wife and so I went good. on a hike about six months ago uh, with the dog, and her name's Sadie. For those of you who aren't familiar, um, we get to kind of the ledge of a cliff, and I'm like, oh, I have to do this, and I piss <laughs> off the cliff, and then Sadie pisses a little bit off the cliff, and my wife is just like. You two have just experienced a joy that I will never know. <laughs> How unfair is that? And I'm like, that's male privilege. I don't know what to men, say. Men Although Sadie, again. Sadie is not a man. She just did it. Men and dogs. Well, I guess the the closest I could say is that I've I once in like a long road trip, I had to just like stop the car and piss on the side, not side of the road, but like foresty area, right? Like some trees and stuff. And I was like, I just, yeah. I gotta go. I gotta go now. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go, but usually not three times a night while <laughs> lying with your significant other. Uh, is this guy going to like, what if this guy never changes? Like do we, if he moves to the suburbs, is he going to be like, is he going to be like upgrade to a Stanley mug pisser? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got his Stanley mug. He's got his Stanley piss mug. You should buy the big mug, like a big analogy bottle. <laughs> I see you're uh, eyeing my Yeti piss cup. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's right. They are tumble proof, yeah. in fact. <laughs> Sharks, I've got a great proposition for you. <laughs> oh, I will say, I will say, as as a closer to this, um, my brother way back when broke his leg and for about six months was basically on bed rest. And during this period, they do give you like a handled plastic jug to lean over and piss in. Um but I don't know anyone who would be happy about that situation. Oh, this guy. No. It was like the most <laughs> <Him>. disgusting, <laughs> degrading thing. He hated it. You know, but this guy, he would be like, wait, you, you're you saying I can get a machine that I can yeah. use? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it wasn't a machine. It was a receptor. There's a receptacle <laughs> I can use? <laughs> we got to get this guy like a, a designer bed <laughs> Yeah, no, this guy, like this guy is definitely in the wrong and is super gross. But we need to we need to really like invent something for him. We need to go on like I don't know. There's got to yeah. be like some TLC show where you can make an invention for somebody, and then it's gonna be like <laughs> the Piss Max nine thousand. <laughs> nice. I know what you're all thinking. Men are disgusting. They're gross. They're just irredeemable mountains of piss and shit. Uh, but um, our next one is uh is actually a little bit in the opposite direction this one comes from uh r slash relationship advice and the title of this one is my girlfriend smells <laughs> now this one i will tell you is our first lesbian relationship 
24F and 24F. I love and respect uh, women. Yeah, I love and respect women. Let's read this and see if that changes. <laughs> Uh, My girlfriend, 24F, and I, 24F, made it official and started telling family and friends we're dating. The first time we cuddled, she smelled like dog poop. I didn't want to put my nose near her, and that's the only thing I could think about being close to her. I pushed it aside. We made plans on the fly that night, and I didn't think too much of it. She probably didn't get the chance to shower before coming over, forgot to brush her teeth. I overlooked it completely, in parentheses, regretfully. Today, we watched a movie and cuddled. The smell wasn't as intense, but it was still bad. It didn't smell like dog poop, but as if she wore a dirty beanie for three days straight and didn't wash her hair after. I was so disappointed because I was planning to kiss her tonight and make a move, but I couldn't pull myself to do it because of the smell. What do I say to her? I really like her, and I can't break up because we just made it official. She's kind, caring, understanding, funny, and a joy to be around. I don't want to hurt her feelings, and I definitely don't want to break up with her. I see a future together, but I need something to change. Any words of advice? This one's sad. This one makes me feel sad, actually. Dog poop. If so- if someone told me that I smelled like dog poop, I would cry for 24 hours i would probably end it i would be like dog poop well see ya yeah no that's wow yeah one time mariah told me that i smelled like fritos and i was like in like despair oh i would have my Wait, head in like, my hand that's that's a compliment right uh, that, uh, to her it was a comp to, to her it was a compliment but to me it was like i smell like salt and grease no it's over dude like oh my god oh i love the scent of small salt and grease I would make love to a Frito if I could. <laughs> one of those one of those Frito scoops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, those are so good. You are good. a Frito scoop. They're That's what so you are. Mm. No, I'm you're one of you know what you are? You're one of those like barbecue Fritos that's like corkscrewy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is, you're so annoying. Okay. Fine. Anyway, this one's this one's gross. Um I, uh, it just ha- have you I, I I gotta ask, have you ever been around a person that had this problem? They just perpetually smelled a kind of bad. Yes. Yep, multiple yes. actually. Yeah. Uh, there was a person back when I went to uh my when I was a kid and I went to church, there was a kid that had like a medical condition where he like generally had like a like an actual like odor that that's why that's why like I kinda resonate with this one because like I know people that have like struggled with this. So it's ugh, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, agreed. I, I also have had, like, you know, classmates or, or friends who might have just, you know, just general stink was rough. And and I, and it was always rough for me because I, I have a bit of a – I always had a lot of allergies growing up. You know, I was allergic to pollen and, you know, um, a bit of dogs and dust or whatever. So I had a bit of a stuffier nose as a kid. So I can't really smell as well as most people. And if you were getting through to me – I knew you stank. You two come from a world of privilege you don't understand. If you all, dear listener, have never seen a picture of me, you know that I've got one of the most effective sniffers on the planet. (laughs) I am the nostril Nostradamus. And unfortunately, this means that probably a dozen times in my life, someone, you know, around me has smelled like doo-doo caca and it's just that's it <laughs> how do it's you over. make smelling sound pretentious yeah how, how are you like oh my <laughs> god i'm so much better than you because i can <laughs> smell a little better like i mean danny i'm gonna be honest uh you don't find it pretentious because we don't have these conversations around you <laughs> oh people my god. i'm gonna kill you oh my I, god. I, I, knew, I shouldn't i, knew I, you I, I shouldn't even there. mention it to a, a well we call you smell cells <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my mind power. We call you in smells. Right <laughs> it's my brain. Uh, oh my god! We're built to it's annoy. Wait, okay, listen. Laughing. Oh my god! <laughs> so fucking This one's annoying. rough because you like. Okay, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, these people are misandrists. They didn't want to excuse the disgusting guy, but they want to." Uh, exonerate the disgusting girl. Which first, correct? Yeah, yes, correct. we are one of the good correct, ones. Yeah. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> up. When the yeah. world gets irrevocably yeah. modified to be effectively a Barbie-style system of government, I hope you all will remember us kindly. We will be the last ones walking to the Sephora. But it's just, 
I, the clear problem here is that both of these people, and this is com- completely different than the last one, uh, like each other and are not under the impression that they are being gross. Um, so it's not a question of like, my girlfriend refuses to shower. It's a question of how do I put it delicately that she smells like poopy caca? Yeah, I mean, a lot of this post is, um, I don't know. It, it For me, when I was looking at this, I was kind of trying to think of like, what would I do or whatever? There's two options. And if you really, truly mm-hmm. love this person a lot, then the first thing I would do is obviously communicate and be like, hey, listen, and try and bring up, try and bring it up. You have to. If you truly like this person, you want to like be with them, you don't care that they smell bad, but you do want to try and fix it, like that's step one. If you don't want to do that, my other thing is just I'm out, right? Like I just uh, you're out. Like uh, you're out of the situation. There's nothing you can do. You gotta you gotta go. Uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, you gotta split. At least that was what I felt. Like I was like, it's either this or that. That's that's it for me. Yeah. Um. Uh, she's talking about in the comments about like uh, the number one question everyone is asking is how did you not notice that this girl reeks. Like, what's going on? That's actually my question. Like, how did she's you... She's answering in the comments. She's like, we've been around, you know, I've driven her places, and we've gone out to eat and stuff, but we haven't been, like, physically intimate or super close with each other, and it's really not noticeable until you get, like, really up in there, until you're, like, right next to them. But I never noticed when, like, hugging oh. or, like, anything like that. And I would say the number one problem in that case is that you should not... Uh, date someone until um, you know if they stink good, right? Like, come on. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be like retroactively. You should have done. I guess X, that's y, fair. We're past C. the point of no know. return on this one. We're past the. We're past the point here. You're already in the relationship. I think there, there are conversations that you will have with partners in your life that are uncomfortable and embarrassing. Mm -hmm. That's just something that's going to happen. And I think this is just one of those moments where it's like, Hey, I want to be clear. Like from the start, you know, I don't think this is something that makes me not want to be with you. I love you, but there is just this quality of yourself. I mean, let's not, let's not get too carried away. They've been dating a week. Like, yeah, they're not at like, hey, I'll do anything to remain with you. You just smell like dog shit. I do think leaving is yeah. an option that you should, you know, yeah, cause, consider. Cause yeah, that's like, oh, that I, we just got together. Yeah. I can't leave her, and I was like, what? Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. That means you can. It's actually been very early. And you know what? You don't even have to lie if they're like, well, why did you break up? You can go, well, she actually smelled like dog poop. <laughs> um, no, okay, I. I know the right answer is to do what Jordan is advocating and have a serious discussion with your partner in which you both uh, describe the things that would um, make the pair of you feel more comfortable, right? That's what an adult would do. But I have another idea, which is it's a little more Reddit. It's a little more, you know, uh, tricky. Oh, my God. You're going to say be sexy no, and shower. No, no way. That is, that is, that is cute. cute. Oh, okay. Um, I think "Eh." you can make it, (laughs) I think you can make it a you problem. Why don't you just be like, hey, um, I didn't notice this until we were, we were like really close together, but you know, your, your shampoo is really pungent. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I'm, I'm like, I have a really sensitive sense of smell. So, I mean, I hate to do this because I know it's so high maintenance, but would you be able to like, you know, put extra effort into uh, using <laughs> the cleaning products? <laughs> and suddenly you're just being a hypochondriac and this person accommodates you because they like you rather than you saying to their face, you smell like dog shit shower. Mm. That's true. I actually don't hate that. You know what? Because like back to I think we talked about this with a, a previous topic we discussed on but it's like sometimes lying is okay and if you can figure out a way to I mean lie, it's not even a full to, lie no. like I am smelling too yeah, much yeah. is the problem yeah you could either go the normal adult route and like have a conversation to be honest or you could go this route which I actually do like 
which is lie and be Reddit and figure out a way to manufacture your partner into and if and more. if this trick works, so. you can come back to Reddit and post update and get more updates. Oh my god, updates to the left. Oh, we just need karma. That's that will fix your girlfriend's smell. Um, my, my <laughs> only problem with the lying is that you have to be pretty careful about how you lie, right? Because if you say I oh, yeah, have a right. sensitive smell and that's you got to keep that exactly. up forever. Exactly. You suddenly are now have a new thing that it, it's like a Seinfeld episode. You're like, oh, I have a new smell. I, I, I was, it's sensitive now. And you're keeping I'm, it up. I'm so good at writing like George <laughs> first acts. Yeah, exactly. 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 <laughs> yeah. She smells, Jerry. She what smells, am I supposed Jerry. to do? She smells. Oh, my God. And now uh, <clears throat> what, what if like it, George is dating a girl who smells. So he uses this excuse and then he's like, I'm going to take her on a date next week to the Arboretum. And Jerry's like, you can't go to the Arboretum. She thinks you have an overactive sense of smell. That would be the worst experience for you. And he goes, but the Arboretum's got the bench where I do my move, Jerry. And the move is something they described in a previous conversation where he like puts his arm yeah, around exactly. her while the fl- yeah. you know. I- so- that's all I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So just just be careful. Do not invent a new Seinfeld episode plotline for yourself. I say do, <laughs> and then come back to Reddit for the free karma. Uh, I guess we should vote. Decision time. Jordan, how do you feel about this woman? Is she the asshole? No, no. Danny, she's not. No, I'll no, she's there. not. I, I, I don't think you're the asshole for, you know, trying to figure out. If your partner smells like incredibly bad, that's a big turnoff. It's it's understandable. I will say a lot of these people online post all day about how they want pussy from a girl who stinks good. And then and when, then they, when get they get it, one, oh, all of a sudden it's a oh, problem. Oh, my God. No, this woman's not no. the asshole. This is not, <laughs> not a problem. Ugh. The council has spoken. God, this one. This is a good one. I like this one. It was it's, actually it's, like you know, I I, I appreciate know. reading ones where everyone involved is some sort of inhuman monster, but I also appreciate reading ones where everyone has a genuine problem that they want to resolve for the sake of a relationship that theoretically could go somewhere other than the front page of reddit.com. Yeah. And it's I think people get to this is just kind of like a core belief I have about life and and relationships in general is that people are too nervous to talk about the embarrassing Mm -hmm. stuff. Right. Like, you know, yes, it's going to be embarrassing. It's going to have uncomfortable conversations. But those are like things we should be more open to talking about in general. You know what I mean? So I appreciate the fact that people ask these questions even though it's on reddit whatever but like people are like talking about it and like you know this is something i want to move past and look beyond like what do i do here and i think that's nice that people are willing to look past that kind of stuff or figure out solutions for it all right so we've had two of our topics today completely dominated by discussions of disgusting behavior but this third one we are probably going to be talking about the most disgusting thing of all and that is dating an influencer Ugh. Yeah. Folks, gross. if you ever have the opportunity, don't do this. And this goes for any type of influencer. You know, they can be foodie, they can be sportwear, they can be Yu Gi Oh players. Do not date anyone with an online presence that is used for anything other than posting on Reddit about what animes you like. <laughs> Dude, shut up. Today, this comes from you slash Chelsea Cheesy. Incredible. Which, uh, boy. I wonder if this is. <laughs> it is a throwaway it is okay. a throwaway okay <laughs> um this comes from uh r slash am i the asshole and we are once again plumbing the depths of of our favorite sub the title of this one is am i the asshole for not sharing a free meal with my anti-instagram boyfriend interesting i'm in i'm where is this all going? this in. is this is one of those titles that gets you really scratching your ch- yeah. your chin here. Like, what's go- what the- where's this going? All right. I post my food pics from when I go out to eat on Instagram. It's just for fun. I spend like eh, 30 minutes a week on it tops. My boyfriend is a very sweet guy in many ways, but one thing that I'm not so much a fan of is that he often hops on the bandwagon of hating on innocent things. Well, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was reading this post and I was like, Joseph, 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 
I don't what are you talking about? <laughs> I was reading this post and I definitely used to be this guy, unfortunately. Oh, no. It's like so cringe because I'm looking think I'm thinking about how I was like late high school, oh. community college age, and I'm like, fuck, I was so annoying. God damn it. All right, anyway. I, I would say the difference is I don't like hate on innocent things. I don't find Applebee's innocent. You know, they they, Dude, they are just complicit read the so goddamn many, We're not doing post. this right. Read the post before, before I before I <laughs> ugh. Uh, okay. Uh, not just liking something, but making sure everybody knows he doesn't like it, even if nobody asked. Okay, I can see where you're kidding me. <laughs> I can't help but notice a theme. Pumpkin spice lattes, pouty selfies, Taylor Swift, etc. Oh. God, he's just one of those oh, yeah. guys. Oh, you know, like, yeah. Oh, you know this guy. Th- this isn't... This isn't like a no Marvel movies guy. This is like a sexist, I guess yeah. I would say. It's a Redditor. <laughs> I, I'm glad you said it because that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I'm I'm back on I'm back on my misandry <laughs> beat. Yeah, folks. me too. Let's go. <laughs> As you can guess, he is not a fan of the food picks. He thinks it's very annoying and cringe. Oh, well. he doesn't even follow my Insta. Even though he has an insane. account, that's insane, crazy. insane, 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 insane. <laughs> <laughs> that that in and of itself, I think we can agree as grounds for a breakup, uh, right? Yeah, yes. like, no, you're crazy. What? What? Why? What's the problem? You're like, oh, well, I won't follow you. What? Yeah, like, I think Instagram is cringe. Anyway, I'm <laughs> not following you. And I have one. Cringe. What are you doing on Instagram, huh? Liking okay. guy posts? Hmm? <laughs> He's liking Sigma male <laughs> affirmations. I, I, I guess. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bad. All right. Even though I don't have very many followers, by the way, so funny that like he's raising the stink about a woman who clearly is like not making it. Yeah, I mean, like imagine. I, I guess I could I could see being a whiny little bitch about your significant <laughs> other that has like a seven hundred thousand k you know repost network right. or something. But this is someone sharing their food to like two k people. Like, there's no reason to be an asshole about this. I have started getting occasional offers and invitations from restaurants in my city to try their food for free in exchange for a review. I didn't know this, by the way. The bar for this is super low. Oh yeah. Um, I had a f- I had a friend in uh right after college who did something similar to this. He was like on the Yelp review beat, and. We were in New York City at the time, and it really took about a month of him writing regular Yelp reviews before he was being, like, invited to places. Uh, like, these food places do want people whose job it is to eat food, or even hobbyists, to come and have a free meal. Yeah, yeah. I've worked I, pretty closely with restaurants in the past, and uh, they, like, word of mouth and post social, organic, organic in quotes, social posts like these are, like, so key because if you hear about a nice spot from a friend you're going like you're going to those restaurants and those restaurants love that they need that they it's like one of the it's like the best thing for them they it's it's huge traffic to the restaurant Mm -hmm. that's why i'm happy to announce that this podcast has partnered with olive garden that's why i've been so (laughs) anti-applebee's lately is i actually I have a, a horse in this race, <laughs> and that horse is called the Endless Pastable. But the thing is, I right, also like get... all this yeah. fucking. Ah, I can't. <laughs> no, this video hey, right now. don't don't be mad that I'm right. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're. Oh, oh, my God, oh, my bias intent is through the roof right now. Read the post. <laughs> all right, nothing crazy, no steak dinners so far, but I've gotten a few sandwiches and several baked goods. Cute. Well. I just hit the big leagues. I got invited to a new restaurant opening that includes a free appetizer and an entree for me and one guest. I invited one of my Instagram friends who I have gone out to eat with on several occasions and who also enjoys taking food photos. I told my boyfriend and he's pissed I'm not taking him and says I'm doing it out of spite. I really think I'm not. If the restaurant is giving me free food in exchange for a post, I'm going to put more effort into the post and spend a few extra minutes making sure I get good shots. I'd rather do it with someone who isn't going to sigh and roll their eyes throughout the whole thing. And I think it's pretty audacious of him to be actively unsupportive of an activity that hurts no one, but then expects to benefit when it's actually successful. Danny, I'm going to ask you the question on our minds. Do men deserve rights? No, they do not. Men do not deserve rights. Here's the thing. This this guy is epic. He's an epic dude. <laughs> He's, so He's such epic. an epic little gamer guy. He's like, oh, but I, oh, I think Taylor Swift is cringe. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Instagram cringe photo. Blah, blah, blah. What do you mean you get a free food? Hold on. You get to. I you, want a free I food. I want free food. Wait, why can't I go with you? Dude. You cannot do this. You do not get to have your cake and eat it, literally, t- 
two. There's no way. Come on. I love that she has already mapped out the version of this dinner where the guy comes is like she's like kind of being a little more delicate in terms yes, of like taking yes. a picture and he's in the other seat going oh <laughs> like it's oh, so sad oh. that she already knows that's what's gonna happen like that's yep that sucks that sucks that so sucks. bad i like the the point at which you are writing fan fiction in your head of you and your significant other going out on a date to a restaurant and the whole time they're just rolling their eyes and like giggling at you under your breath. Leave. Yeah. Exit this yep. relationship. Yep. Holy Correct. shit. The, that, that's the worst part to me is that like, you know, I've had a friend kind of describe to me their like previous relationships where they would just not even think about including their significant other because they didn't support the thing that they enjoyed, like going out to like a show or like a movie and the other one never wanted to go or do it. So they just took the other friend and then the, the partner would get jealous and you're like, dude, there's no way you can be jealous. This is the world you've crafted. You, yeah, 100%. you are the one who think it's cringe. Why do you want to go to the cringe dinner? Because it's free, and suddenly it's cool, and suddenly she's getting a little more popular with her cringe Instagram account. I had a very formative conversation back when I was in high school. Um, this is one I remember to this day. Um, it was a classmate and I, we were driving to, like, a, she was driving to a musical practice. And country music came on, and she liked country music, and I was a big shithead. You know, I don't listen to rap and country. I used to be one of those guys oh, in high school, God. of course. I, I know. Wait. I'm the worst. I was the worst. I, used I, I, to I, be. I, 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 I still only listen to anime. Me okay. too. Shut the fuck oh, up. Give me the aux cord. <laughs> I'm put G. Boom. What's whoa. your favorite video game OST? <laughs> Jordan, do you like Deltarune? Yes, I like Deltarune. Like Shut up, but I'm not this. <laughs> I hate you. All right. Look, I used to be one of those cringe lord idiots that acted this way, and she, like, got mad and told me like this sucks people don't like hanging around you when you do this shit and i like never forgot how she acted wow. in that moment. and i was like i i can't thank her enough for that because that was like a slap in the face but not a literal one but like uh, something that someone needed to tell me and i'm so glad that she Who did is this? Because... Is this your wife or is this your uh a friend no this is just a, a classmate, a classmate? A classmate. Oh, okay yeah friend of mine that wow you know, we were like acquaintances Man. throughout high school not like great friends or anything but we would you know tag along to musical practice once in a while and like she just told me that straight up and i was like oh yeah it sucks to be this person and for any dudes listening out there if you do this shit fucking stop it does suck to just constantly shit on people's interests all the time it's not fun people don't like being around you and especially if you're doing it to your partner that super sucks and you really should feel bad about it every time you do it like seriously it's not fun it sucks and you need to change that shit like asap oh it's gross it's this gross behavior that i can't stand I'm like writing this down right now. Like, <laughs> so stop, stop it. Yeah, this is, this is. Maybe if someone had said this to me, I wouldn't be so fervently anti-Apple. Oh so my god! Like, uh, you know what? Actually, let's let's go get the half price apps. That, you yeah, know, it's not that go. it's not that come big of a deal. Drinks, Thank come you. On. Come out for come out for Dollarina. dollar Long Islands and wonton tacos, baby. <laughs> okay, I I will under the under one condition, which is if they do not have the half price apps or the dollaritas we have to immediately leave and go to the good restaurant that's right I olive agree. garden I'm, when I'm you're in, here your family 100 you know i will capitulate to that i will 100 percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay wait, 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 wait. i Beat i do quashed. i do want to highlight i think we all agree this woman is completely in the right yes her boyfriend sounds like a fucking terrible person to be around but wait however would you guess that that is not the belief shared by a significant amount of users of the site, http colon slash slash www.reddit.com. No way. No. I want to do I want to do a little bit of a new thing, uh, and okay. that's reading out some of the responses to this clearly one sided "Am I the asshole?" prompt. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, in. I'm, in. I'm lo locked and loaded. Here's what we got. You are the asshole. 
I spend 30 minutes a week on a tops. You spend more than 30 minutes on it. True. He is not a fan of the food picks and thinks it's very annoying and cringe. It is. I think it's audacious of him to be unsupportive in an activity that hurts no one. It's hurting your relationship with him because it takes you out of the moment, sharing time together because you have this other priority. It's fine to take food pics if that's an interest in yours, but what you do when you do that with him, you're telling him there's something more important than spending time talking to you right now. Choose your priority when you're in a restaurant. You can only have one. Oh my wow. god. Wow. I love Where this. Where did you oh find this? Oh my god. This? This is an amazing post. Oh, uh, oh my God. Oh. I, I say this to my wife when she goes to take a piss. I go, you're telling me there's something more important than spending time with me right now. Choose your I priority. Tell this to my, piss to your my uh, partner in the future. Uh, yeah, babe, you're going to have to deal with the piss by the bed. <laughs> yep. One question. If he won $100 betting on football and spent it on his football friends instead of you, would you be upset? Inventing Whoa. a thing that isn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I make something Me up, other like thing. literally, it's like, <laughs> it's like, no, you don't spend thirty minutes a week. But I said I spend thirty minutes a week. No, you spend more because I think so. You are. That's here. Let's ask a question. Is your friend a male or female? Okay, this probably shouldn't matter. I would understand if it did. Uh, here's the second more unhinged part of this one. Imagine your boyfriend is really into comics, or something random you're not, and he gets invited to a comic convention in Italy with an all-expense-paid visit for a weekend of the convention, and he can take a plus one. Would you be okay with him inviting another to go with him that's not you? After all, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, wow. right? Other oh entirely God. different fake scenario. Hey, what? me when I go to a dinner. This is like an all expenses paid vacation where you have to fuck your female friends. <laughs> it's so good. I, that might actually be the boyfriend. Your oh. boyfriend is right, especially about those disgusting pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, oh my god. god! I hate you. I hate people so much. I, oh man, I don't know if we can keep doing this. I'm so mad. This right this now. guy <laughs> watches like those <laughs> shitty Netflix comedy specials they just pump out, and he just like points at the screen and goes, "That's so true. Why is no one talking about this?" <laughs> can I give you one? Can I give you guys one? This this is a fun one. Everyone sucks here. <laughs> We don't, we don't do these. Uh, we don't do okay. the everyone sucks. Everyone sucks here. You probably annoyed him enough times with social media antics that he deserved to profit with a free meal. Lol. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to take a sidebar right here. I'm just going to take a second. For anyone, for any guys, all right? For any guys looking to get with a chick, all right? For any guys trying to find a relationship out there. If you're reading this or listening to this right now, understand how low the bar is. Don't be like this person and you will find love. It will happen. Be interested in your partner's interests. Even if you think it's cringe, try to learn more about it. Do you like you don't listen have to, to love these them. comments? Support the bar them. is so low. <laughs> you're going to make it. <laughs> this this one is great. What fucking hellscape are we on? Oh I am going to be putting in extra effort to get some really great shots. It's a plate of food. What extra effort could this entail? No, no. Oh. This picture is garbage. Let me rotate the plate 26 degrees. Ah, yes. much better. <laughs> Describing, <laughs> like, actually what you need to do to make a photography. Shot. What does he think what, photography yeah, is? Guy, <laughs> guy, when he sees a photographer for the first time, what? This is a job? I, I thought you just clicked <laughs> the button. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this one's good. Okay. Multiple studies have shown that social media remotes, remotes, certain instinctual behavior ness that are not healthy. They provide competition. They promote reputation destruction. And they give the artificial sense of your value or your place in the community is higher than it is. And then there is the dopamine hits that come from looking at pictures and receiving likes that you only get if someone approached you in public saying the same thing. Technology advanced beyond what was evolutionarily intended for our primate brains. The OP's response... You are currently on social media. That's awesome. No. That's awesome. Just annihilated. Just destroyed. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, this is. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to try to not react that way every time we do this of reading the comments. Because I can probably <laughs> do it at every one of these types of comments. So I'm going to try to chillax myself again here. 
<sighs> this is unfortunate. What are your boyfriend's interests? Is he obsessively into them? And red flag if he doesn't let you follow him. She says, he's a charter boat captain. He likes fishing and outdoorsy stuff. He likes some sports and he likes craft beer. My main hobby is watercolor painting, which he has always been supportive of and showed interest in. I, I gotta say, we've been coming down a little hard on the boyfriend. This is as, I think, easy as being like, listen, I know you think this is cringe. This is important to me. I would appreciate if you would be supportive. And you know, he either will or he won't. And you make a decision after that. Like, sorry. Like, <laughs> you have the harsh conversation that I was lucky enough to be involved in of, hey, this really sucks and make me makes me feel bad when you act this way. Like, why are you constantly shitting on my interests? It's shitty. Like, please stop. And then he does one of two things. And you make one of two decisions. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I can say. I will say this this uh, OP is all through this thread responding to a lot of people. And honestly, if you're the OP and somehow this gets gets to you, I don't think any of us think you're in the wrong. Um, you just have to understand that you came to the wrong place. That Reddit.com is full of fucking freaks who have convinced themselves that this anti-pumpkin spice latte, anti-Taylor Swift behavior actually places them in a uh, moral position higher than your own. And you're not going to get any juice out of this stone. It's just wrung dry. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. This one's sad. One, one, oh, two that just made me yeah. sad. No, Ugh, th- it's <laughs> I, I will say I will say this did end up getting branded not the asshole yeah. on Reddit.com. Right. And a lot of the comments are like, hey, you know, uh, this guy is acting ridiculously. It's just so funny that Redditors just hate women so much. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, that's... I can't stop thinking about, well, he hates Taylor Swift and like pouting, pouting. And, and like, like he's mad about duck and face. spice lattes. It's twenty twenty three. Who cares? Uh, duck space. <laughs> shoving you in a locker. <laughs> Fuck. This guy needs to get bullied. This guy needs to get bullied. He's into like boating and craft beer. Like, yeah, okay, I like that shit too. But I'm gonna bully you for your dumbass interest. <laughs> oh wait, your hobby is drinking. Wait, that's like that so, so like highbrow. Wow. Dude. Wait, hold up. It, it's so fucked up that people listen to trash like Taylor Swift. What's your hobby? Drinking? <laughs> oh, my God. That's, like, super sick, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I do like that uh, she mentions in the post that she makes uh, triple his salary. I don't know what the conversation was <laughs> that, that she needed to mention that, but that's awesome. Wait, she does? I missed that. Uh, it's in the comments. Yeah, cause some, people were, some people were saying, I bet he pays for all those meals that you take pictures during. Like, And she said, no, I make my own money. Which, I mean, listen, this post kind of got stink lines coming off it. I could tell this guy was practicing some unemployed <laughs> behavior. <laughs> yeah. Your unemployed friend at 2 p.m., why didn't you invite me to the free meal? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's so, he's so mad. mad. He's like... Oh my God! Now I gotta, now I gotta, I, now, uh, now I gotta store. fish and drink craft. Yeah, beer. I gotta go to Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, but don't get me any pumpkin, anything, yeah. and you better not do any duck face while we're there. <laughs> Fucking hell! All right, I guess we'll vote on this. Decision time. Uh, let's do one, two, three. Is this woman the asshole? One, two, three. No. no. Uh, the council has spoken uh but reddit might be true that's so true oh jordan uh you said your wife had a take on one of these posts not not this one specifically <laughs> but one of the three we no. did <laughs> are we getting the bonus bonus yeah, uh, sure. council member yeah all right the the <laughs> the ancillary council member uh when i read council member yeah. at large <laughs> yeah <laughs> When I read the pee bottle one to my wife, she's like, no, nah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no way. She said, I understand. <laughs> it's different for girls. They got overactive bladders. <laughs> the situation Joseph was describing of needing to pee, but like laying there in bed for an hour. That is her 
every morning. You all let me say that, and then we're like, "What's wrong with you, you freak?" Because and in your pocket, weird. you had my words. I said. It, that's something I've never experienced much at all, really. Twist my words all you want, baby. That shit is weird. Get up and go pee. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, oh, okay. You so freak. you don't support me, nor do you support women. <laughs> what is different between you and that last guy? Explain to me. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oy, oy, oy. All right. I think, I think that's probably enough for today. Anyone got any closing thoughts about our little PP boy? I don't have any thoughts about the PP boy. I don't boy, have any thoughts on this. I just can't get over this last one. Just please be nice to people and be yeah. interested in your partner's interests. Well, you know, okay, you don't even have to. You don't have to be nice to people. That's all true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You can be a hater online. Do be nice to the person you are dating. Like, yes. like Jesus Christ, why are you dating them? Because they're like a someone you would bully online, except closer. That's not a very good reason. Yeah, I, it's it's <sighs> wild to me that I the the audacity of the guy being like, "Why can't I be invited to the dinner?" When you are actively hating on the her interest, actively, you won't even follow her on Instagram. And you have the audacity to to ask for the free dinner. Are you serious? I don't know if we talked enough about that. Like, why is he not following right? her account on Instagram? Like, I'm an Instagram hater. I deleted my Instagram account because I didn't like what it was doing to like distract me. Like, fair. You can hate. I like. I don't. I don't know. Like, you can hate things, but like, you're hating them. You're hating things wrong. He's bad at hating things. Like, I. What? I hate this guy. I hate him so much. I wish I knew him so I could tell him to his face that I hate him. <laughs> oh. it, there's there's something just disgusting out there when you see someone who is not only a hater, but is like doing it ineffectively. Yes. 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 Oh. Come, come, come to me, my child. I will teach you the hate by the sword. <laughs> <laughs> F- fellow Redditor, if you want the updoots, <laughs> come with me. <laughs> <laughs> I will teach, I will teach you, you how, how to, to hate. hate. <sighs> Leave your pumpkin spice at the door. We won't need it. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm done. Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody.